It all started on, back in November, on November 13th. I came home that weekend and I was very tired, I was very fatigued. He had a fever and um, had a cough. Uh, I did get tested. I was, in fact, uh, positive with COVID. We did what everybody says you should do when you get the virus. We quarantined him. What had happened at that point is I progressively um, got worse. We were actually monitoring his oxygen levels with a pulse oximeter that was recommended by a good friend of mine who's a nurse. I was laying in bed, you know, trying to get better, and uh, the oxygen level was at 85, which is extremely dangerous. The doctor said, you need to go to the emergency room. So I got checked into the hospital on Wednesday, November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving. By that Saturday, they wanted to put him on a ventilator. And that's when really, that I knew something was, um, was wrong. When I heard that Andy was in the hospital with the COVID, I really, really, really was very worried. When he went on the ventilator, there was no contact. It just seemed to kept getting worse every day. They couldn't regulate what was going on. My blood pressure would be up and my oxygen level would be down and my heart rate would be down. We really thought that we were gonna lose him. And God works in strange ways because uh, the Knights has this magazine called Columbia. And I get this in the mail one day and it says, this is the day the Lord has made our founders beatification. I open up the magazine and there was a whole story about Blessed Michael McGivney. And here was a novena, which is absolutely amazing. The nine day novena consists of all parts of Father McGivney's life. And it just gave me something to do. As one day spun into one day, and then another week, and then another week, it was almost two months. So I went through the novena, and I started on day number one, and went through the nine-day novena the second time. I got to the end of the second time, and I started the novena again. By the third day, Andrew was home, healthy. That, to me, is a miracle. On January 6th, uh, a doctor came into my, uh, my room and he said to me, he goes, I just want to let you know, we've been fighting this disease since March and you are without a doubt one of the two or three best success stories. He fought and he fought hard and we all prayed and we all prayed hard. This guy was literally dying uh, a couple of weeks ago. And here he comes home. My faith has strengthened quite a bit since this whole this process started. And I also believe my uncle doing those novenas and praying for him to give me had a major impact on that. We pray, most of all, that through his holy witness of Father McGivney, we may be brought closer to God and that we ourselves may renew our love of God and neighbor.